Okay, this is a HP Compaq CQ60 and it's using a Trust Universal Adapter set to 14 volts. The older Trust adapters had a 12 volt setting. It works on 12 volts and that's lower, so that's probably a better one to choose. Just to prove that it works, if I press the power button, uh, you can see it's starting up. Notice the flashing on the mains adapter, it's sort of flickering because the uh, charging circuit is not happy, and that's true. I expect for pretty much all of these sort of models. So wait a little bit. And then we have Microsoft Corporation starting up quite nicely. Here's welcome screen and there's a the desktop so it's working fine but if I now go to shut it down like that so there it goes shutting down power off once Vista's finished sorting itself out So it'll pretty much power up first time every time, despite the fact that the battery isn't charging. But on this particular model, if I unplug the power, so you disconnect it and move it around, and then plug the power back in, see the light's on. But if I now try and start it, press the power button, see it just flashes at me, indicating there's no battery charge. So a little bit of charge is needed in the battery to kickstart it. So you can either get an external battery charger or you can try this trick. Now, with it plugged in, if I wait about an hour and come back to it, I'll show you a little trick that starts it to boot. So we'll just pause this and I'll see you in about an hour. Okay, so it's been about an hour now. And if we... Um, press the power button it doesn't start but if you notice the flashy lights down there it tries to boot but doesn't quite manage it if there's more current in the battery it probably would work but here's the trick if you press and hold the power button and then connect and reconnect the mains while still pressing it after you press it again, it should work. So if I press and hold that, take that out, put it back in, release it, press it, it starts up. And that will work pretty much every time I've tried it so far. So if the battery has no residual charge and can't charge because the charging circuit's damaged because of the in inherent fault with this particular model, that's how you can get it to start. Uh, from now on, as long as mains power is sustained, it will start up every single time. But as soon as you remove the mains power, you've got to wait an hour, wait until those buttons, the little lights flash in that particular way. And then you can press and hold, unplug, replug, release, press, and it starts up. And then you can see Windows starting up now. And from now on, that will work, so we'll immediately shut it down. And that's basically at the start of the video where it started up, just to, to show you that it worked. Uh, so um, that's how you solve it.